It was bizarre, and everything in those buildings is completely intact. And you talk about being Americanized, the only thing there that wasn't like small-town rural America or a city was that mosque. They put it up on the side, so if anybody that's not driving into the place, that was about the main thing that you saw. So if anybody just drives around the perimeter of it instead of going into it, what they see is a mosque, and it's like, oh, yeah, they're just training for the Muslims. They're not training for the Muslims. They're training for the Americans, for the conservatives, for the libertarians for the people that, as they've pointed out in scenario after scenario, are concerned about government overreach. Exactly. And, I mean, we've, we've had document after document. We've also had things like, you know, the paper targets, the, what were they called? Yes. No hesitation. Yes. And it, it was kids yeah. in playgrounds. It was pregnant mothers. Mm -hmm. And these were being sold to police departments. They were being sold to the Department of Homeland Security. So we know repeated examples where they're targeting the American people domestically. It's dual use. And as I said, I think it's because they know the veneer of civilization is very thin. They know that if, you know, the food supply gets cut off going into New York for 10 days, then there will be absolute bedlam. Um, they know that this, this fiat money system is collapsing. People are starting to notice their quality of life is declining. People, households are having to work two, three or four jobs just to maintain their standard of living. And then you've got, you know, like the G GDP figures today are completely atrocious. The economy seems to be back on the slide again. So this is what they're preparing for. And yeah, what, said, you're ref what you're referring to there, Paul, is the Commerce Department said today that the gross domestic product fell 2.9% at annual rate instead of the 1% that it reported last month. They always do that, don't they? They always come out with something that uh, looks better than it really is and then revise it down the next month or the next quarter, the next report, so they can show an increasing trend. But they're having a hard time putting a happy face on this number, these numbers. And they're coming out and saying, well, actually, it's a downturn that's three times larger than we told you just last month. Yeah, and it's, you know, these are the worst figures in five years. And again, I think you could connect it to the point I made earlier about dependency on government and all those Obama quotes you played as we were coming in from the break, because, you know, the regulations aren't getting any lighter. Uh, it's becoming harder and harder to start your own business. People are being cracked down on in a, in a manner of different ways. So, oh, yeah. I mean, that's that's how you sack an economy. And that's that's the way the United States is going. Unfortunately, at the moment, more government control, more bureaucracy see more regulation. You look at what happens to countries that do that. I mean, look at France. It's in a complete mess because of a socialist government that's completely oppressed and suffocated uh, private free enterprise and entrepreneurship. So I think that's the danger in America, that it could well go that way. And that's why they're preparing for this unrest. You know, one of the things, Paul, is, is the story that came out on Reuters today. The picture that's at the very top of it is a picture of a of a Ford manufacturing assembly line. And as I'm looking at this picture, put this up on the screen, guys. This is the U.S. economy contracts sharply, consumer spending revised down. As I look at this picture that's up on the screen, uh, there's not a person at all in this picture. It's nothing but a sea of robots. And it was just last week at the Margaret Thatcher Liberty Conference in the U.K., Paul, that uh, David Petraeus was talking about how, um, you know, what comes after America? Well, uh, North America, NAFTA, is what comes after that. And he was talking about how, how are they going to deal with the people who don't have their jobs anymore? He says, instead of having an assembly line where we've got 100 workers, now we're going to have two workers and 100 robots. So what do we do with those people? His answer was, well, we educate them for the new economy. I think what they do is, uh, I don't think that there's going to be jobs for them in the new economy. I think they're looking at ways to get rid of them. So when we look at this and you say, if they've got this kind of a, a near-term horizon where they're going to have robots replacing people in factories, robots replacing people in service jobs and transportation jobs. Why are they bringing in so many workers? Well, that's not what it's about at all, I don't think. I mean, we had Jeff Sessions, a senator, said that the pro-amnesty elites are treating people like commodities. In other words, the Chamber of Commerce wants massive immigration so they can get cheap labor. Maybe that's what they're looking at. It's just a short term, the next five to ten years max. And then after that, we've got a massive army of people who have become dependent on the government, who have been raised by the government from being young teens. That's Obama's army, I think. Exactly. And tying into that, um, we were contacted today by a University of California professor, Daryl Y. Hamamoto, and he's about to embark on a big campaign 
uh, speaking out against this influx of illegal immigrants. And he came out with some quite astounding statements, given his position as a professor, at obviously what is a very liberal university. He's already been attacked. He's already been harassed by the university for coming out with these statements. And um, after the break, we can get into that because that that's an InfoWars exclusive and he's going to be coming on the show later this week. Well, that'd be great. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's an amazing scenario that's unfolding before us. And when we listen to people like David Petraeus, they understand. He says, hey, we're 20 years into NAFTA. In other words, Americans have not really understood how our economy has been fundamentally transformed, how our sovereignty has been taken away in the eyes of the elite. And so that's why Americans are looking at this and saying, this doesn't make any sense. This is something that Obama's doing. It's not just Obama. I wish it were just Obama. It would be much easier to deal with if it was just one person. This is both parties. This has been going on for decades, and it's only getting worse. This is where it's really being brought in at this point, where they're opening the borders and collapsing the economy. We'll be right back with Paul Joseph Watson. Virtually anyone can hack your cell phone and track your calls, your texts, your emails, your every movement, but only if they can detect a signal. Stay one step ahead of hackers and Big Brother with a block and pocket, a custom-made pocket infused with pure silver that creates a complete Faraday enclosure for your cell phone. For free shipping to the lower 48, visit BlockItPocket.com or call 888-315-9618. BlockItPocket.com. Enhancing health and privacy. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Every business owner knows how tough it is to get financing for their business. Whether the cash is needed for expansion, repairs, or growth, when you need financing, you need a reliable source. Banks are happy to hold your deposits, but don't bother to ask them for a business loan. For 10 years, Merchant Capital Source has been helping small businesses just like yours get the money they need. If your business needs as much as $250,000, Merchant Capital Source can deliver in as little as three to five days, even if you have poor credit. If you've been in business for six months and produce at least $15,000 in monthly sales, there's a good chance you'll qualify. At Talk About Hassle Free, we don't need to see your tax returns, financial statements, or business plans. Rated A-plus by the Better Business Bureau. Join the thousands of business owners who've learned the secret of using Merchant Capital Source to meet their capital needs. Log on to mccash.com right now for a free quote. That's mccash.com or call 800-296-0772. That's 800-296-0772. 800-296-0772. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here with a maximum alert. Last week we were contacted by Army personnel, by MPs, and then by Air Force MPs about United Nations advertisement solicitations that were being hung up in the barracks to recruit them for gun confiscation during collapse in America. That happened about a week and a half ago almost. Then in the middle of last week we were sent the United Nation career advertisement that just went up by the same people saying, look, we've looked into it, here it is. 
for, during a collapse, gun confiscation to stabilize things. And the Rand Corporation came up with a plan 20 years ago for this national stability police force. This is what the UN does worldwide. They've taken everybody else's guns. You understand? This is what they do. And it's in their own documents. They want it. Now it's broken. Now, we were waiting on the report not to confirm it, but to get undercover information, which we're getting right now. And it shows how great the alternative media is that DrudgeReport.com already had it last night uh, that the you know what to hit the fan plan with Max Slavo broke it. It's awesome. We are ferreting out even more, confirming the specifics. But they admit in their own career plan, right here, disarmament, demobilization, and reintegration officer. These are commanders to carry this out, and it gets into all of it. Small arms disarmament, their mission, uh, they've got to have serious command uh, you know, from third world takeover operations that they've done in other countries. Here's the article on Infowars.com, mirrored. Max Slavo, and he goes through it all. I've got Paul Watson doing a more detailed article showing the whole history of it. Now, let me show you this. We broke this a few months ago, so did the New American. DOD directive provides for a federal authority in quelling civil unrest. Then, look who ends up carrying it, the London Guardian just a few days ago, Pentagon preparing for mass civil breakdown. Type in civil unrest, click Google News, ladies and gentlemen, and you will see this literally everywhere. The armored vehicles, the drones, the tanks, the preparations, using the border collapse that's just begun like a tsunami. Sheriffs have called it like Katrina every day to bring down those areas and then to basically bring in civil emergency or martial law. Food prices are doubling. Everything is starting to get more and more hardcore worldwide. And here, this is the globalist collapse, Cloward and Piven, problem, reaction, solution. But getting this out and exposing their, that they're preparing for it will cause a public debate and they will fail. That's why they want to deny the NSA spying and deny all the things they're doing and deny they're funding Al-Qaeda and ISIS because then there can't be a debate about it. We're going to force the debate. We are the real media. We are the true media, not the state-run media. And this stuff is getting out regardless of what happens to InfoWars. There's Drudge and so many other great outfits out there that know the truth and care about freedom. And great job uh, to Mac uh, uh, getting this out. Again, we've got a big story on this with video, audio we're working on right now. It'll all be covered on the radio today, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., infowars.com. If you're watching this transmission, you are the resistance. Report is up on Alex's YouTube channel, The Alex Jones Channel on YouTube. You can see that in full. And we're going to talk to Paul Joseph Watson as soon as we come back about this. Uh, we're, the, the article is United Nations Seeks U.S.-Based Disarmament, Demobilization, and Reintegration Specialists. And this is something that, as Alex pointed out, we were told that uh, they're putting up job offerings, and now we see the actual posting. And the interesting thing about this is if you look at it, it says the duty station is New York. Paul, what do you think about that? Um, I think, <laughs> although it's listed as New York, if you go on the UN's website, they talk about this DDR program, Disarmament, Demobilization, Reintegration, and it's currently active in countries like the Democratic Republic of Congo, Ivory Coast, and, ha and Haiti. So whereas it's, it says it's based in New York, I think that's just where they're being trained and the actual programs are based in Africa. But as Alex has said, you know, again, these programs are dual use. We had Hillary Clinton last week talking about how supporting uh, the Second Amendment is an opinion that terrorizes America and you shouldn't be allowed to have it. We had Obama earlier this month talking about uh, the U.S. mimicking Australia. In Absolutely. We're going to be right well. back. Stay there, Paul. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Group. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from seven to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888.
253-2539. 